So now I'm starting to feel like I'm pretty set up with my MacBook Pro. Um, I just recently got a, a cover for it. So I'm using it here with the, I've got a double screen um, thing going on here where I can have my mouse over there. In fact, I can move, for example, this little uh, thing. Recording, so I'm recording that screen and I can bring it up over here. I'm liking that. See, here it goes. Ooh, whoosh. On to the other screen. Loving, loving that. I think that's pretty cool. And it means if I'm doing any editing on uh, Final Cut Pro, I can have it up here. There we go. No, nope, I'm going to edit it on the big screen. And I've set up my uh, mouse, which is for my Big Mac, my Big Mac, my iMac, with my other uh, keyboard over here. So I can now have a nice big screen over here and effectively work on this screen with that open but what i also really like is having this closed that turns off give it a minute boom here it is again so now we've got the actual uh screen so i'm just going to cancel that recording uh what i've done to get this is i got a usb hub here uh it's got a a what's that a usb c for power delivery it doesn't actually do any information an hdmi which goes into that and it's got a couple of USB 3, USB 3, uh, SD card, micro SD card uh, readers there. So they all go into one of the ports. So that's electricity going in, into there, information from memory cards into here, and then the external hard drive going into the other port there. So that is all I need to have this doing all the processing, this doing all the storage, and this being the bigger screen and all connected wirelessly with this. I'm loving all that. Now, what's also quite interesting is that I've got this black magic um, disk speed reader. Let's look at the actual speeds that we're getting for all this. So the actual, let's say we go for the select target drive. We're just gonna go for this computer. And this, oh my goodness, the speed of the internal drive of the uh, MacBook Pro is ridiculous. 2,400 uh, for write, 2,800 for read. Uh, megabytes a second. Okay, okay, happy, happy with that. Uh, don't need to do that anymore. So let's just get it going. Ciao. Right, we'll take that as a, so that means, yeah, we can do absolutely everything on there. Save that as a screenshot. So that is, MacBook speed. Uh, the external hard drive, I've got it up here. So let's go uh, select drive, go to ex extreme hard drive. Just go open there. So this is it going into my MacBook Pro via the USB-C cable. And what are we getting? We're getting 800, about 800 read. That's pretty good. 817, uh, no, 817 write, 700 read. Uh, that's that's pretty pretty darn darn good there. Happy with that. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, eight hundred right, and just a little bit under seven hundred uh, for read. Uh, now here, here's an interesting. My uh, Lumix memory card, uh, <laughs> which is meant to be ninety mega. Oh well, ninety megabytes a second. Let's uh, let's test this one. Select target drive, Lumix. Open, start speed test. Ooh, third, third. Okay, no, actually, not too bad. Yeah, twenty. Ooh, oh, it's getting slower and slower. And uh, really, <laughs> really, ooh, it's just still going slow. Thirteen megabytes a second. Uh oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Wow, wow. Okay, that literally just need to dump that from there onto uh, the. <laughs> Okay, done. Uh, now, the workflow which I'm working on is the idea, I put my memory card, I come in, in from a shoot, put the memory card in here, get the photos from there straight onto this, but edit via Lightroom on this, via this screen here. So, that should look like, I'll close this down, I open up Adobe Lightroom Classic, Okay, so let's go to, we click on a library, let's go for import Lumix, so that's from the memory card. 
Here's all the photos. So I've been taking photos of my uh, camera and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to move it from here, not into the hard drive. We don't want that to happen. We want it to go straight into the SSD. And it, yeah, it's just going to start a, a new diary, a new photos diary there. And let's go import. Yeah, I was bringing in the um, raw and, and that, that was pretty quick, actually. That was, that was surprisingly good. Building one to one previews. So, this is, I was taking photos of the difference in the depth of the old MacBook Pro that I had and my new MacBook Pro, and uh, just getting closer up shots. Raw and JPEG at the same time. Looking at the size, both a 13 inch screen. Uh, but you can see the size difference there. And the different sorts of layouts of the keyboard uh, now as well. So yeah, so that, uh, let's build all the previews, done. Okay, good. So now editing wise, let's just go, I'm gonna just go uh, look at the raw file. So go file type uh, raw, 18 raw. Let's see how good and fast we can edit on this. Let's go exposure up, texture, saturation down, cam that. Let's see if we want to just, let's see, uh, sync all those settings, synchronize, and command E, export, export. Uh, what we're going to uh, MacBook size, put in subfolder, not on desktop, I want it to go specific folder. Uh, in SSD, yep, so Extreme SSD. And let's just go, I'm not gonna resize, I just want them all as big as possible. Whatcha? And let's go export. How long does it take for these 18 files? Uh, all 20 megabytes in size. Ooh. So while that's doing that, how did the actual uh, activity monitor, memory pressure, so there's a little bit of memory pressure uh, going on there, CPU usage, barely any, uh, Lightroom using the most, but memory almost went up, bit of orange there. What size were those images? So about, yeah, 300 megabytes uh, done pretty quick. Yeah, for 18 photos, that was pretty good. Happy with that. So yeah, here. So that is the workflow. So power into hub, powering the hub. You don't need to power the, the the hub does not need power. Memory card into that. Memory card is pretty slow. That bit's pretty slow, but it doesn't matter. That goes into all the information goes in here. But this at the same time is exporting information via the uh, USB C out to the uh, HDMI to give me that and the information is being stored on the external hard drive there. And all the, inf all the photos are being processed via that back into that. Whew, that's, that's pretty fancy footwork if you ask me. Very impressed, very impressed. And all from such a tiny little thing. And the fact that I can, there's an work where I can have a double screen uh, thing going on as well. I just think, so what I can have is over if, I'm wanting to do all my photo editing over here. Get my photo editing there. And let's say I just want to see my, on this screen, my Bitcoin prices. I can just have that one permanently open, double screen going on while editing, full screen over here. And let's see, how is that doing for the memory pressure? Again, memory pressure isn't even going up. In fact, it's gone down. So web's open, screen's open here. Love it, love it, really starting to dig being a MacBook Pro user. And just the flexibility that I've got here compared to having to stand only at that. Big thumbs up.